Okay, I am here with four girls. Can you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Nadia. I'm Brooke. I'm Vanessa. And I'm the other Brooke. And who are these two little guys? I'm not sure if this one's <laughs> name, but he's very adorable. And what's this one? This one doesn't have a name either. They don't have a name. So we are here at Lavenderwood Farm, and I wanted to give everyone an opportunity to talk about 4-H. So what is the 4-H club? What? So the 4-H club is a club where you get to, there's different um, uh, groups um, that, so there's like a, uh, projects. It's okay, you could let him go if he wants and, to go. Um, <laughs> there's, uh, you can work with animals uh -huh. or um, there's <laughs> Somebody's yeah. eating the microphone. Come here, cutie. Oh, you're um, a little rascal. There's like sewing projects and cooking projects. And 4-H um, is also um, a great opportunity for you to develop leadership skills. Oh, that's wonderful. And become a better person. And how long have you guys been doing 4-H? I've been doing 4-H for three years now, I think. Three years? And what about everyone else? My second year, my first year, and my second. And have you guys done any competitions yet? Yes, I um, I've shown at the Santa Barbara Fair uh, for goats um, two years. Last year I couldn't go, um, and I've gone to the Ventura County Fair also um, for three years. Yeah. And do you guys own your own animal? Yeah. yeah. What do you guys have? Tell me about your stuff. I have five goats. You have five goats? We're, we hope to sell most of them. Oh, okay. And what do you guys have? Well, I have two goats. One's a girl and one's a boy. And then I have, like, horses and a donkey and stuff. Oh, my gosh. And do you guys live all here in Thousand Oaks? Camarillo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And what does 4-H stand for? Heart... It stands for head, heart, health, and hands. Okay. It goes along with the 4-H pledge, which is, I pledge my head to clear thinking, I pledge my heart to greater loyalty, I pledge my hands to larger service, and my health to greater living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. Oh my gosh. Good job. Thank you. And what else do you guys hope to accomplish? You know, show goats, and what else? Um, I really like I do braille racing with my horse, so. What is that? Well, there's like barrels. So yeah. There's a barrel and a barrel and a barrel, and then basically you try to race around them, and whoever gets the fastest time wins. And you can go pretty far and win like a bunch of money, so. Nice. It's really fun. And it's your own horse that you race? Yeah. And have you won any competition so far? Yeah, I have, but they haven't been big like ones, but I've won some. So, yeah. That's exciting. And what about you? Tell me about what you do in 4-H. I, I have the two goats, and my sister does dog training. So this is one of the babies. <laughs> I have two others that are around. Just the goat showing. Just the goat showing? I think that's a lot. And then you're the other Brooke. <laughs> yeah. What do you do? I have two goats, and one is a weather, and one is a girl, and she's going to have babies in summer. And they're both Nigerians. Nigerian? Yeah. Are they, is that the one that we see here? Yeah. yeah. Yes. All, all the goats Nigerian. on this farm are Nigerian dwarf goats. Oh, dwarf goats. Yes. How big are they going to get? They only get as big as, um, like if you look at the pregnant ones, <laughs> yeah. but without like the big big stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and when is your next competition, do you know? Um, be Santa Barbara, probably. Yeah, yeah. Santa Barbara Fair. Yeah. yeah. Which the is? The 29th. The we're 29th preparing, of we're April. We're preparing this weekend for this for the Santa Barbara Fair. And then you said something. I know what it is, only because I heard them talking. But you said, what was the first one that you had to go? The weather. A weather. And what's a weather? A weather is a castrated um, boy goat. A castrated boy goat. And so you have it. Um, so you're obviously not going to be breeding him or anything like no, that. No, he's just, just my pet. Oh, he's just your pet. Yeah. And do they come inside the house, or they're strictly outside? Um. He kind of stays with um, all the rest of the goats and the bucks because he just likes playing with the other bucks. <laughs> okay. 
And then what's a, how many stomachs do people say that goats have? A lot, but is that true? No, uh, a goat only has one stomach with four chambers, rumen, reticulum, abomasum, and abomasum. Wow, that's, that is impressive. And then she also mentioned chewing cud, which is something that you hear quite often, right? What is chewing cud? Um, it's where the goat regurgitates um, food from a chamber so it can, um, it can be uh, chewed down and processed and um, go on to the next chamber and be digested. Nice. Did you know you're going to have to answer all these hard questions? <laughs> um, but it sounds like you're ready for your competition. Yeah. So tell me if there's a girl out there that's thinking about joining 4-H, tell me why she should join. Uh, someone should join 4-H because it's a great um, experience for learning how to work with animals and showing animals and how to care for your animals and also um, community service <laughs> and leadership and you learn a lot in 4-H. And what about you guys back there? What's, why do you think somebody should join? Well, what, what's kept you coming back all these years? Well, because like it's really fun to work with all the animals and there's just so much different stuff to do. <laughs> and like you're not judged or embarrassed if you mess up, so it's just fine. It's just a lot of fun. Good. And what about you guys? I think Tell me why you're joining or why you're in here. I think it'll help your leadership skills because you get to learn how to work with animals. You get to learn how to work with them when they're not helping out, when, mm -hmm. they're, being, when they're misbehaving. I feel that someone should join because it's really fun to experience like with little goats and just play with them all the time and yeah basically what Rex said. That is wonderful. So thank you guys so much. We are where again? Lavender Wood Farms. And what city is Lavender Wood Farms in? Thousand Oaks. Thousand Oaks. And are we doing anything else today? We're going to do any... We're going to do a milking demonstration. Milking demonstration. And what else did you guys already show us how to do? Oh, uh, we did a clipping demonstration and a showmanship demonstration. Okay, so the next time you are in Southern California, come visit Lavender Wood Farms and hear more about 4-H and learn a little bit about leadership in your community and maybe how to milk a goat and how to shear a goat. Thank you so much for watching. Say bye. 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 Good job, girls.